Hey, Matthew Swinnerton with Event Santa Cruz, and I'm here with Ed Martinez. How you doing, Ed? Very well, thank you. How are you? This is great where you're doing this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, it's nice that David Dennis allowed us to have his, his backyard. Another quality Event Santa Cruz. Uh, exactly, <laughs> yeah, in a backyard, yeah. We're going downhill. No, we're going uphill because we're in David's backyard. Um, okay, I was going to say it. What do you do, Ed? You know, I thought about it as I was driving over here, and I said, you know, after all these years, I've actually earned the right to call myself an activist. Okay. Right? I was thinking about like over seven years, you know, there hasn't been one day that's gone by that I haven't worked on one of my projects. One of the, I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, I'm a businessman. I'm an artist. I'm a father. I'm a, you know, a husband. Um, and I do all these things. And these are my projects. This is what my life has become since I got, you know, uh, yeah. slightly older. <laughs> Wait, activist or artist? Which is, what do you put on the t more like top? <laughs> activist to me symbolizes act action. Okay. So every day, I mean, I, there ha I literally haven't taken a day off in, in about seven years. I, yeah. You know, one of those things that I'm passionate about mm -hmm. is what I do every day. And so my art is a part of that. And these are the things that I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. So everything that I've done has been about something that I can use to create industry or wealth in my own community. How can I make the place that I live better? That's what I'm passionate about. And I'm active in that. And therefore, I am an activist. So what inspires your art? Like how does, what do you like wake up at two in the morning like I have an idea or like what, how, you know, how does this come about? <laughs> yes, I do. Well, I, you know, I'm an economic refugee from the 2010 crash and I had no choice but to either jump off the cliff or die anyway. So it was, I really had nothing to lose and I've always been, I realized that I had always been an artist. I had always been told that you can't do this or you can't do this and I bought into that. And I said this time, I'm going to use art as a way to carry a dialogue about the environment that I live in, the people that I work with, and the things that I'm that I'm most passionate about. So, in my case, I'm an ocean. I'm an ocean creature myself. I'm in in it. I surf in it. I swim in it. I do fish in it. I do all these things, and um, and so I chose a medium that I could work with. I mean, I'm really as a metal workers go. I'm a primitive. This is really kind of what I do. I have scissors and a couple of hammers and and after seven years of practice yeah. I've gotten to a place where I can actually kind of find mm -hmm. this creature the you know Amazing. what I'm doing and I do a Beautiful. lot of different stuff with marine with marine mammals with marine marine life it's funny I look at your tools and I think like, you know what you're definitely not like a digital artist it's like it's a it's you're tactile you're yeah <laughs> I hit stuff with hammers for a living now and I'm I'm loving it because I can use my artwork to tell a story. Um, the businesses that I'm creating are about how do we put art back into schools so that we can get kids engaged in their education on a lot of different levels. And it brings up, you know, like this is, is kind of like what my metal work um, has done. But I could see sort of an end to it. I could see that I needed to find other places to go with this somewhere down the road. So I was thinking a little bit farther down the, down the road. And I, I love the fact that they could print photographs on barn wood now. We can put photographs on metal. We could do, and so I started looking for a photographer that um, would. I wanted to deepen the conversation with. Here's a you know like you've got a dolphin and he's kind of a dolphin and and it can, and it says its own thing. Yeah. But I knew that we could go deeper with that message about drift netting and and the other things that are involved with you know the marine mammals that we've got out here. And I said I wanted to find a photographer that would take that image, this piece of hammered metal and create a different dialogue that was going on within that thing. And I started talking to photographers about a year ago and they would kind of go, eh. And then I ran into Brian Garrison at Wet Feet Photography. And he, in me, he had seen my work. He knew exactly what I was talking to within seconds of the conversation happening. And he was like, yes, I'm good. we're gonna do this. And so what we came up with was this. So you've got a piece of my hammered metal um, with a photograph on it, you know, we're, these are the first prototypes and so we're using iconic Santa Cruz images and so you've got a salmon which is an iconic Santa Cruz fish. Yeah. I mean our industry is based on it and a lot of things and our environment and he's put photographs on these on these images and we can't find anybody else that's doing this so we really it's about a true artistic collaboration with wet feet photography and the people that are doing uh, truly innovative things in art. It is. It's amazing. I mean, it is, these are beautiful. I, I'm not sure if the video picks this up, but um, if you're at one of Ed's events or anywhere, you got to see this. It's just amazing. Oh, yeah, you can see on the video. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's so, um, so I want to know, Ed, what, why does this 
fulfill you so much? Why do you so get a, you're so get excited? Because I see the passion in you with your artwork. Yeah, I mean, like, what wakes you up in the morning and makes it like, oh, you know what, this is awesome. It's about, you know, so, many, so few people actually know anything. We really don't know very much about our ocean. When you think about Jack O'Neill, what he really allowed us to do was get in there and look around. Yeah. It was the first time. And so you think of it, that was a, an industry that was born in Santa Cruz. And to me, the artistic collaboration is about how can my art tell a story for people that don't get out on the ocean much? Because it's a resource that's really changing fast. And we have to protect it. We have to engage in this struggle that we're in to keep our ocean safe and our ocean fried because our life depends on it, seriously. And so to me, bro, my collaboration with Brian was, it was a true artistic collaboration. So I would hand him my work and say, tell a story with your photographs and his photographs are so iconic anyway that he's I mean he's a really gifted photographer he's yeah. got that eye and so between the two of us we can say here's this mammal and here are these and we're going to start working with images of drift nets and images of things that uh, deepen that dialogue because he's into the same thing I am which is like how can we make that artwork tell a story how can we bring this experience that we share every day that we get out there on that water how can we bring this to people that don't how can we tell a story about this resource that is in trouble right now yeah. that we have to protect? And how can we bring that to places that, you know, so that when they look up on the wall, they see something that actually engages them in the dialogue about how we protect this resource that is so essential to not only our industry, but our waterways and our, you know, our life. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if somebody wants to purchase your artwork or commission an artwork <laughs> where do they go I mean, like how, how do they find you they can find me i you know i use facebook um as a way to engage people in the process of my making art right. i take old refrigerators or old air conditioning duct mm -hmm. and turn it into something pretty and so what i try to do is take sort of upcycled art and push it into a more fine art bracket mm -hmm. so they can find ed martinez dot ed martinez 14 on facebook or they can go ed martinez dot ed martinez ed M-A-R-T-I-N-E-Z-3.com. Okay. Or um, as my website. And they can find me at, you know, I mean, we are both part of Next Base Coworking Centers. Mm -hmm. And I'm all over the place. And Brian Garrison is Brian Garrison at Wet Feet, Wet Feet Photography. Yeah. Um, where you can find him on Facebook because he, he mm -hmm. uses Facebook the same way I do. And, you know, help us take this story out. I work almost exclusively on commission, which I'm very lucky. Nice. To yeah. the community that I live in that supports me. Mm -hmm. Well, Ed, I love your work. I think you're doing an amazing job, and um, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> hey, 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 come back here. Come back here. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and you want to see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.